Hey guys, and welcome back. Today I want to discuss ELTs, Emergency Locator Transmitters. There's usually two of them on aircraft, and their primary purpose is to send out special signals in case of an incident. This is an Airbus 321, and what you're looking at there is the portable ELT. In case of an incident, the crew can grab this and activate it. It has a deployable antenna. It can also activate if it touches any kind of water. The other ELT is dedicated to the aircraft itself and is fixed in the aft galley right there above. Even though they both put out the same signals, but they function a bit differently. The dedicated ELT actually works off of G-forces in all directions. It has two antennas, a backup antenna, which you saw right there fixed upon it, as well as an antenna fixed outside of the aircraft, right there. If the aircraft experiences massive G-forces, it will send out three signals. 121.5 MHz for civil, 243 MHz for military, and the 406 MHz. This is using satellites, SARSAT. Both ELTs are capable of this. They also have internal batteries to keep them powered. If you've been watching the news, recently a Korean A330 ran off the runway. Most likely it suffered massive G-forces and I'm pretty sure that fixed ELT did send out the signal. When it comes to maintenance, we are tasked with making sure these systems are operational. We have to test these systems at interval periods to make sure they are active and working. But word to the wise to my maintenance personnel and my pilots, be careful, do not leave it on for too long, unless you want to see these guys. Trust me, they will come really quick, and it has happened in the past when it's accidentally activated. But that's about it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. The more you know. Take care.